What is your name? Where are you? And what is today's date? It does not have to be in any order whatsoever. It just needs to be those three. Once you say those three correctly, uh, the grader will tell you if the casualty applies appropriately. Once you hear that, that is your cue to move on to the next step, which is to position the casualty. You're going to have tell, since he is uh, responsive and alert within the uh, condition, you're just going to tell him to sit up. Go sit up. And then you're going to, all right, excuse me, uh, to, to Alpha, sit up, to Bravo. It says turn head to the side, opposite of the wound, uh, to prevent bleeding into the knock. Do not worry about that. Just go ahead and cross that out. That's a step that you're not going to have. Not gonna need to worry about since he has a pro mask on. There should be no bleeding. You should have a seal. All right, moving on. You're gonna expose the wound by removing, removing the casualty's helmet. And you're gonna identify the wound. The wound is always gonna be on the back side of the head. Uh, throughout all the train up and testing, it's gonna be in the same spot. No, worry, no need to worry about it moving on you or anything like that. So four alpha is the only only procedure that we're gonna follow for. For Bravo and for Charlie, you can cross that out as well. Our next task within the sequence, you're gonna move into the, you're gonna go into the casualty's eye fac, which will be located on the left side, and you're gonna remove your bandage. You're gonna open your bandage, exposing the white sterile portion of the bandage without touching it. If it makes contact with the, uh, the casualty's uniform or falls on the ground, and you apply to the wound, you'll be a no-go. Right, so if, you, if that does happen, we'll have extra bandages set aside. You can go ahead and utilize those. Next, you're just going to place the white star portion over the wound, and you're going to go ahead and wrap. The best way, on your first go around, is go ahead and cover the lower portion here. So the white star portion, you have that white stitching that goes all the way around. It's a good indicator that the white is, or white can be seen possibly. So just go ahead and wrap low, and then lay the uh, C clamp, the pressure clamp, just lay it to the side. You're not going to utilize that, because so, then you're going to apply any you're going to apply unnecessary pressure on the wound since it is a helmet. So you light the side, go around, and your second go around, uh, bring it up high. You're going to pull it tight, uh, using, utilizing the rubber, the rubber part of the, the mask and the rest of the, the bandage uh, to, apply, or to grab onto the bandage so you can pull it tight and then cover the white syrup portion on top. And then you're just going to continue to wrap just like any other wound. Once you get to the end of the bandage, you'll have your two J-hooks. All you're going to do is just secure both the top and the bottom. If it comes to a point where while you're wrapping and the J-hooks come to the, to the back point over the wound, I just utilize, I just use the uh, spine of the casualty as a guidance. Like if it's off to the right or the left side, that's fine. But if you get to that point, you just bring it back and cinch it down or just loosen it up and make sure that you clamp it not over the wound. Cool. Uh, Next, you're going to go through and check your bandage. Make sure the white portion on the top is covered. Uh, all you have to do, really, is you can tuck it in just like that. And next, you're going to check the ears. You're going to make sure that the ears are exposed. It doesn't need to be the entire ear. It just needs to see that the ear canal is exposed so the cash you can hear. Uh, the best way to do that is just to tuck it in. Uh, a lot of people will grab it and then just pull up on it, and then that'll you know, loosen the It'll ruin the integrity of your bandage and you can get the white hook to start becoming exposed on the bottom or on the top. Once you're confident in your wrap, uh, move on to step five. You're just going to look to your grader and you're going to state four things. All right, I'm going to watch the couch sheet for life-threatening conditions. I'm going to check for other injuries. I'm going to treat for shock and I'm going to seek medical aid. Once again, it does not have to be in any order whatsoever. You just need to say those four things. Once you say those four things correctly, we will stop your time. We'll show you your time. 